All right, guys, we talked yesterday about the different ways that organisms and plants can be classified. Um, we focused on plants and how they transport food either through tube-like structures or from cell to cell. Tube-like structures means they're vascular, non-tube-like structures and going from cell to cell is non-vascular. So today we're going to look at the different ways that plants can create more plants and flowers. So looking at their reproduction, plants have different ways of reproducing. Plants that have cones or flowers produce seeds. A seed has a whole bunch of cells in it. It's got a really young plant in it. And then it's got stored food around the young plant. And then it's in that protective covering, which is the seed. So whenever you find seeds or you look at them or maybe pour seeds out of a package before you help someone plant flowers or plant plants or vegetables, those are seeds. So inside the seed, it's got a really young plant of whatever you're trying to grow. And then it's got actually stored food inside of it to help that young plant grow. Other plants produce spores. So spores are just one cell protected by a cell wall. They don't have a bunch of cells in there and a young plant and stored food. It's just one cell and it's, um, has a protective cell wall around it. A spore needs a moist or damp shady place where it can get nutrients and then begin to grow. It, do, it does not have those nutrients inside of its shell with it like seeds do. Flowering plants are vascular plants. So they produce seeds. So flower, the plants that have flowers on them produce seeds. Plants with cones are vascular plants as well, and they're called conifers. And they make seeds, but instead of having flowers with the seeds in them, they have cones instead. Some vascular plants form spores. Ferns, if you've ever seen a fern, um, right now is a time of year where a lot of people might be buying ferns because they're kind of fall plants. Um, they have, some of them have spores underneath their leaves, and if you look underneath the leaf, they're going to look like brown dots or brown streaks, and those are the spores that are going to help create more ferns. Mosses, so whenever you see moss like growing on tree trunks or um, even on rocks around the river, those are non-vascular plants. So that means that they don't have those tube-like structures that carry the nutrients. Um, their nutrients are just moved from cell to cell. They make spores that form in the cases um, that are the very tips of short stalks. All right. And that is where we are going to stop today, talking about the different ways that plants reproduce or make more plants. And we're going to jump into classifying animals tomorrow. So I will see y'all then. Please make sure as always you are checking your folders. See you tomorrow guys.